Hey guys, it's Riley Aras Thrifted over on Instagram and Poshmark and today we are going to Goodwill with Kendall. Uh, I do not need to be getting inventory but I was on Instagram and saw everybody's awesome finds and that's a great way to have FOMO on thrifting. So now we are going to one Goodwill. I can't be there too long because I have stuff I need to do later. So let's head out. Okay, we're here and we got our reusable tote bags you have to bring them to Goodwill now if you want bags. So when I walk into Goodwills, I often check for a little display area at the front of the store because I feel like a lot of people don't go through them and there can be some gems. So I found these Steve Madden heels and I did pick these up. They were $7, which is like the very high end of what I'll pay for like basic Steve Madden heels or shoes in general. But I grabbed those because I knew they would sell and they did sell. And I believe this was like their prom display section. Kendall found these Sam Edelman heels and I did end up grabbing them. They were her size and she wanted to try them on and she never did. So I haven't done anything with them. Uh, here's an Adriana Papel dress. These can be great. And even for $15, I might have grabbed this, but it was missing a lot of beading. Yeah, so this was back in April. I know I'm behind on editing certain videos, but so this was their like prom display area, I'm guessing, and I was going through the dresses. I mean, there's nothing too special. That was Altered State, which I like loathe selling for a while. Like a few years ago, I did like selling it, but no, it doesn't sell for me anymore. If I find that at the bins or anything, it goes straight to Plato's Closet or I send a thread up. And as you can see, we're not really finding anything. There's like a Y2K prom dress. Maybe I should have picked that up because when I went to my sister's prom pictures, there were like two girls at least wearing vintage Y2K pieces. Uh, that's Cache, which is like an old mall brand. If you guys pick that up, let me know. I did consider grabbing that and I might have for half off, but I just don't want to deal with it. It wasn't my like favorite style. Um, let's see, do we know how much Goodwill wanted for that new tags prom dress? No, we don't because I didn't show, but obviously didn't pick it up. Now, we're really not finding anything. I think it's funny what they put in like the display area because none of it's really that great of stuff. I find better stuff just, you know, in the normal dress rack. And we're still not, why am I, oh, I guess I'm looking at this Talbot's dress. Um, I don't know why I don't usually pick up Talbot's. Maybe if it's very half off, like if these pieces were half off and they were a bigger size. Oh, extra small. That was an extra small. I don't know. Uh, maybe they were half off. We'll have to figure out what the half off color is later. I didn't find anything in the dress display area, so moved on from that, and I am currently looking at Goodwill's vintage display area, and these pieces, I have no idea if they were worth anything. They look kind of like touristy pieces, but I really liked them, and I did end up picking up the two, like that pink piece and the one behind it. I grabbed those for myself. I did leave the birds behind, because I don't know if they were sold together, but you know, the birds can sell in a pair. That was pretty. I don't know what that is, but I left it for seven. I probably would have picked it up for cheaper. Next to the vintage display area is the expensive area, and a lot of times the stuff in there isn't expensive, but I did find this Kate Spade bag. It was $20, and I didn't look it up, but I did grab it, because, you know, worst comes to worst, I'm sure I can get my $20 back. Uh, here are some men Cole Han shoes for $15. Like, Franco Sardo, old Franco Sardo for $15. I have no idea who priced those like that, but that's fine, because I get better shoes for cheaper, because I think those are worth money. Now here are the clothing items they priced up. Uh, Peter Millar or Miller, I don't know, Lululemon for 20. Um, I don't know what that was, probably Lululemon or something. Oh, maybe not, I don't know. Like this stuff, I probably, um, Harney Collezioni. Oh, that looks like Cole Haan again. Like this stuff, Coach, ugh, um, sorry. <laughs> uh, vintage Coach, maybe that was worth the 25. I don't know, I didn't wanna pay it. And now my Goodwill, if any piece says Anthropology on it, prices it to like $20 automatically. This is the go back rack. I found this little lemon jacket. I think it was like a scuba. Maybe not. Is that a scuba? It's $20 and it was old and I left it behind. Uh, polo. Like, I don't think I found really anything on this go back rack. That was a cute loft skirt and I would pick it up for like a dollar, but not for seven. 
Now here we are going through shoes. There are Converse priced way too high, loft sweater on top of the shoes. I hate how my Goodwill does the shoes like this now. They used to have a shoe wall and I much preferred that but it's been like this for like a year or two now and I hate it. It makes it way harder to shop for shoes. Now here's something that could be good. Jeffrey Campbell boots. So I did grab these and pull them out and look at them and they look pretty worn. They are seven dollars and that's obviously a pretty good price for Jeffrey Campbell boots. So I grabbed them, put them in the cart to check them out and as I'm looking at them you know I noticed the wear but these can be easily cleaned up with a lighter just to get all those little leather pillies off I guess you can call them and honestly I don't remember if I grabbed those or not those are Louise AC that's in, sold at Nordstrom and it's not a brand I always pick up I kind of have it like hit or miss with it but I did grab these ones because I liked the style although that is their older logo they have since updated their logo I sometimes like grabbing Zara things like that piece you just saw but not for ten dollars I'm looking through some skirts here. Leota I sometimes pick up. Um, I don't love selling skirts and that's why I left that one behind, but it is like a thread up, or not thread up, excuse me, Stitch Fix brand I will sometimes grab. Leota tags of their vines and they want $25 for it. Is it your size? No, extra, extra small. Oh. Here I'm going through some new racks and just like most resellers will say, I often find my best stuff on these new racks. This day, you know, I don't remember what I found. It's been such a long time. But yeah, as you can see, Goodwill prices are getting pretty high. Uh, just like, I think pretty much everywhere prices are going up. Oh, these are some like super old like 80s Levi's. Obviously not jeans. Uh, I didn't grab them. I don't know if they were worth anything and they wanted $10 a pair for those vintage Levi's pants. I probably would have grabbed them at the bins and maybe taken them to like Crossroads to see if they would grab them. But you know, they're, since they're not jeans, I just don't know what they were worth. I remember when I first started reselling in like 2015, I used to grab those Nike shorts all the time and they'd sell for like 13, but that was before I really was now making the big money. Okay, here's a Neon Buddha jacket and Neon Buddha is a brand that I like to pick up occasionally, but when I find it, it's usually all stained and it doesn't have like the best resale value. Here I found a little patch of Eileen Fisher shirt, so that was cool. And I'm trying to show you this lady that was walking away because she literally came up right next to me and started shopping in front of me. I hate when people do that. Like, you have the entire store. She just wanted to see if there was anything good she could get before me. I left that Eileen Fisher behind, as you can see, because there are some snags and some holes, and they wanted $8 for it. But this one you see right here, I did end up purchasing, and it did sell for, like, 30 something dollars. Even with the flaws to the fabric that I am about to show you, it was just like they weren't quite holes. They were more just like it got like the knit got a little stretched out. But anyway, I still pick up Eileen Fisher pretty frequently when I find it if it's in good or even as you just saw like medium good condition and it still sells for me. I went back to the Eileen Fisher piece trying to decide if there was a way I could save it but you know just there was too much damage that it had to be worn as is and I didn't want to sell it that way. I don't know what my sister was showing me here but as you can see there's just like a lot of nothing on this new rack. I did find one thing I was happy with which is coming up. It is this driftwood jacket and I have found driftwood before at buy sell trade stores but it was always too expensive for me to purchase so I was finally happy to find it at a price I could resell. If you don't know driftwood they do a lot of jeans and embroidery on those jeans so this is a jacket with embroidery, embroidery which I think will do well but I'd be on the lookout for those jeans. And as you saw I passed on that new Ateg Columbia for $30. I wouldn't have I mean I might have picked it up for seven since new Ateg but Columbia I usually pass on. And here's a new tag Rebecca Minkoff piece and they want $25 for it so I left that behind. Rebecca Minkoff clothing doesn't tend to do that well for me to begin with. I mean I would have picked it up if it was around seven or eight dollars which is like the typical dress price but yeah I passed on that for $25. Texture and thread made well tank top for six dollars. Passed on that just not enough resale value. I would only pick that up for like two dollars possibly three dollars. And these are, guys, these are the new racks and there's just not that much great stuff right now. Here I was like, yay, finally something I can resell. Nick plus Zoe, or Zoe, I say Zoe, but I think it might be Zoe. And as you can see, I found three pieces and they're all from like the same collection. They're from like, they have all the same colors and I was excited, but they were $8 a piece. And while it retails pretty high, I would only pay like top end like $6. And I know it's only a $2 difference, but you know, guys, that's $6 total if I bought all of those pieces extra that I don't want to spend on those where I'm probably only going to flip them for about $25 so I don't want to pay $8. 
which is a bummer because with Goodwill's prices going up, it puts items like that out of my price range for reselling. Last items I found on the new racks were these Torrid Curve Bras, and these were pretty expensive, but I still grabbed them to lot up. Oh, and here you get to see my awkward try at getting a thumbnail, and I haven't made a thumbnail yet, so I don't know if this is what you'll see. I hope not. I thought we were done with the new racks, but I guess not. I saw something exciting sticking out, bonobos, if that's how you say it. So I was like, yes, score. And then I saw, wait, not a score. Goodwill wants $15 for these. And if you did not know, the resale value on bonobos has gone down. And so there's no way those were worth picking up for $15. I don't want to say it wasn't worth it because I didn't run comps, but I was pretty sure it wasn't worth it for $15 and I didn't even look it up. So maybe someone got a good score for themselves. Uh, this is like a Madewell Whisper Tea and if you did not know, those like have pretty much no resale value. If you grab them at the bins, sure, but if I grabbed them at the bins, I would just take them to Plato's Closet or Crossroads. I wouldn't even try to sell them. And yeah, as you can see, this is a new rack still with a lot of nothing too special on it. Okay, so I just cut out another two minute long clip of me going through absolutely nothing on these new racks, like a whole two minute clip of me finding zero things, and that's just the way it goes sometimes. Now, I was super happy to find these Lucky Brand boots until I flipped them over and saw they were $10, and these J. Crew boots as well, and guess what? They're also $10, and I would have picked these up for like $8, but $10 is really pushing it, because the Lucky Brand boots, I would probably expect around $30, possibly $35. I just don't want to pay $10. When I get access to pretty good shoes for much cheaper. I did, however, find these Vionic boots for $7, and those are shoes I might pick up for $10. I would have checked comps probably, but Vionic might be worth it for the $10. The like J. Crew Lucky Brand, I would pass for the $10. Now, you just saw my pretty full cart, even though it doesn't feel like I'm finding a whole lot. I did, you know, walk away with a relatively full cart like I usually do. Um, I guess we're checking out more shoes now, and I don't know if I find anything. You know, I kind of wish I looked those up because that kind of looks like something that could be interesting, but I guess I didn't. And here I'm about to show you some Carl Lagerfeld boots and I've actually never sold Carl Lagerfeld. I, whenever I come across it, it's priced up pretty high and I think it's actually like a mall brand. I know he was the designer for Louis Vuitton, but I don't think his brand actually does that well. And these are some Tom boots and I actually did pick these up, I think for $7, which is the high end I'll pay for Tom's even the Tom's boots, but I liked the style so I grabbed them, although now we're in summer and they're probably going to sit for a little while. And okay, here is the athletic section. I don't usually go through the leggings because like this, they have Lululemon priced at $20. Oh, sorry, you have to look at the ceiling while I fix those leggings and I'm not cutting it out because I'm already doing the voiceover. I just usually don't have luck in the athletic section, so I kind of stopped going through it, which is bad. You shouldn't stop going through one section, uh, but you know, I usually pass on it, and this day was no different. Didn't find anything, and it, I don't want to say it was a waste of time, but you know, didn't find anything. And let's see, here I found some $10 Vince Camuto shoes over by the bras. Someone stuck those in the wrong spot, and what are those? I don't know. I didn't even show you the brand, but... Those were hiding. I would have picked up those Vince Camuto shoes for more like $5, maybe even 7 but not $10. Uh, Walco bra, I guess I didn't find any bras either. I didn't show you guys anything. I know Walco bras can do well, but here's the thing. My go-to-wells usually price bras kind of expensive, and I don't usually find them at the bin, so I don't sell a whole lot of bras. That was Icelandic design, and it can sell well. I've only sold it like one or two times before, maybe just one time, but that was half off, so it was $3.50, so I did grab that jacket, and it is yet to be listed because it's kind of out of season, but you know, I'll get it listed soon, so it's not just sitting in the death pile. Um, and again, we did not really find anything in the blazers. Today was not the best day, but guys, I promise I have some pretty good videos coming up with great inventory. All right, so now I was going through some dresses, and this is the first dress I found. I'm not even going to try and say the brand name. I had never heard of it before, but it was half off, and I did look up. The retail is pretty expensive, and now that does not mean something resells for a lot, but because it was $4, I was like, okay, I'll give it a try. And here's me just speeding up the footage of all the dresses I found until I can get to one that is actually worth money. And as you can see, you know, I'm going through a lot of garbage dresses. And that was just kind of the theme of today. You know, not every day is great. But here I found a cut loose dress and it wasn't on sale, but it was $7. Cut loose is a leg and look brand that can do decently well. So I did pick up that dress. $7 is kind of the high end of what I'll grab. This is a Millie dress, but it was a Millie collaboration. So I did pass on that because it was probably like a collaboration from Macy's or something. So yeah, didn't want that. 
and the rest of the dresses were trash, so I cut the footage short again. But I did want to show you guys this find. It is the Spiritual Gangster Fab Fit Fun Box Robe. And if you come across this, do not pick it up. It is so oversaturated. Not worth it at all. At the bins, I would grab it and take it to Play-Dohs. Wow, I wonder if it has the whole family. I don't think so. I think there were three. Yeah, I only see three. Okay, got a look at those. Now it's time to go through this entire cart. Yay. Alright guys, I'm back from Goodwill and I'm going to show you what we got. I was there for like maybe two hours, I don't know, and I didn't even go through everything and I'm pretty happy with what we got. I say we because it was me and my sister. Um, I spent like $240, which is about how much I spent last week at the bins, which is funny because I got a lot less stuff, but honestly my bins trip wasn't that good last week, so uh, maybe this haul will make me more. Okay, the first item I got was this Cobb Hill by New Balance pair of shoes. Um, I paid $7 for these, I think, and my Goodwill like shoes used to be pretty much like consistently $5 until maybe last year, which is a bummer because they've gone up to like $7, so I get like 10 pairs of shoes and that adds $20 to my bill. $20 extra. Anyway, I looked up comps and they're a little all over the place, but I figured I could get about $30 for these, so I decided to try them out. They're in good condition. I did get a lot of shoes in this haul. Okay, I got a couple books. <laughs> I got this book for my aunt. She works at a middle school and I always grab her popular like middle school books uh, to donate to their library. So this is a, like Percy Jackson and the Lightning, like one of these books, just Blood, the Blood of Olympus. Yeah, it's like the spinoff series, I don't know. Then I grabbed this Wayward Son Rainbow Rowl book for myself. This is a second book in the series. I have the first, but not the second, and now I own the second. I grabbed like a couple other things for myself, but we'll get to those when they come. Okay, my sister found this. It is a texture and thread Madewell cardigan for uh, seven, no, six dollars. I was a little surprised they didn't have this priced up just because they usually do price up Madewell. Uh, it's cute little bobble. I don't pick up all Madewell by any means anymore, but I did like the style, so I grabbed that. And I think texture and thread is a little bit cheaper version of Madewell. Um, okay, I got a couple bras, which you guys saw. So I got these Torrid bras, and I did pay $6 a piece for them. Comps are decent on Torrid bras, so I did grab four Torrid bras. Two are the same, I believe, even the same size. Maybe I'll consider lotting them up. I don't know. Um, here's another big size bra. This is Freya. Oh, I'll maybe out here. Okay, here's the Torrid bra tag. Um, and then this is Freya, which is sold at Nordstrom. I think I actually like this brand of bra. And, um, they are a little on the pricier side. This was $68 new, and it is a bigger size. It's a 34H. Again, I paid, oh, I paid, was that $6.99? Okay, these were $5.99. This one was $6.99, so this was $7. So obviously you're gonna make a much better profit if you grab that at the bins, but I figured with new tags, I could still make at least like a $14 profit. Maybe I'm guessing around like $12 to $15 profit is what I'll make on that bra. Okay, so I grabbed this sleep sack from the brand Love to Dream. It's a, or a swaddle or I don't know what to call these. So I grabbed one of these at the bins last month. And I was going to put it in my kids' consignment sale, but I just decided to look it up. And a single one sells for like $15. So I got that one at the bins, and this one was $1.99. So I'm going to lock them up together and hopefully sell it closer to $30. Here's one of the items I got for myself. Uh, I don't exactly know what this is. It looks like kind of southwestern. You can't really tell. I really like the colors on it. Oh, it's kind of a bummer. The light is shining on it. It does have 14 karat gold American handcrafted mark on there. It was $5, which I got. So I got another one of these. We'll see it in a second in a different color. And I just really liked these for room decor. I really wish I could get, oh, there we go. You can see it a little better there, like a paw, like a bear paw print there. Yeah, I'm gonna use these for room decor. I really like them. Okay, next up. Uh, Eileen Fisher, I'm assuming this is linen sweater. Um, 
this was seven dollars there were three of these i'm sure you saw the footage i only grabbed two because the other one had a stain and some snags on it if it only had snags i might have grabbed it and like pulled the snags to the other side but i didn't um so this again was seven dollars and it's a size large um some people aren't picking up eileen fisher anymore or only picking up the large sizes or whatever i still get excited when i find eileen fisher and i still sell it oh here's one of the other torrid bras this one is just nude and then we got the last torrid bra i grabbed this one is black and this one the other three are the same design this one's like a front clip bra okay then here's the other one of these i grabbed for myself so this one's a pink color and it's got the same bear paw on it and i don't know i just i really like them it says this one says Rainbow Way LTD, and maybe I'll look them up and see if they're worth anything. Um, and if they happen to be worth a decent amount, maybe I'll sell them. But I don't know. I really like them. I just I grab them for myself, not to resell. They seem like souvenir pieces from like Arizona or something. Okay, next. I think you saw this. A Lulu's lemon print dress i tend to stay away from the more casual lulu's pieces these days uh sorry this is it's a wrap dress it's really hard to show uh but here's the lemon print uh anyway i tend to stay away from the more casual lulu's pieces and just stick to like stuff you can wear to like homecoming or other formal like cocktail wear but i like the lemon print and this was seven dollars okay this is wrapped up but i'm not gonna unwrap it right now i think you saw it it's the lusterwear pier one imports cat teapot from yeah i said from pier one um uh, i got this to sell on mercari i have been selling some hard goods over there it's been like going okay i'm just kind of like dipping my foot in the water and testing it out seeing how it goes i don't know why i'm holding this up and showing you when you can't see it maybe it, okay wait i'll the, only, the reason I'm not unwrapping it is because he separated the head and the body. So I paid $3 for this and I would expect maybe like $15. There's not a huge profit on that, but Mercari has smaller fees than Poshmark. Okay, my sister found this. I mean, I would have found it if uh, she didn't cut in front of me on the rack I was looking at. But you know what? It's fine. It still made it in my cart. It is driftwood, like zip hoodie and this is kind of like a johnny was brand like boho embroidery pieces i paid seven dollars for this uh i don't know the comps on this but their jeans can do well i have found their jeans at plato's closet price too high for me to resell so i'm fine so i'm excited i finally get to try this piece out for myself to resell sorry this angle is like bad maybe i can change this okay my sister went through kids pieces and i don't usually go through kids anymore just because i sit on them for a while i am doing a kids consignment so but i think i'm just going to list these on poshmark anyway and hope they sell yellow is half off so i paid a dollar fifty for this it is spotted zebra and my sister checked comps i did check comps and she said it was good so Hopefully I can make like a uh, 11 to $12 profit on this. Then we got Hannah Anderson swim top. My sister looked and could not find the matching bottoms. There is the tag. And this was half off, so it was $1.50. I would not have grabbed these things for full price just because I'm not a big fan of selling kids clothes anymore. So I don't know how much the swim top will go for. Again, hopefully I can make like a $10 profit. Oh, and I think this is the last kid's item I did grab to resell. Um, let me do at least one of the buttons. Okay, it is a mini boating cardigan. This one was not half off and it was $3.99. So I did pay $4 for this. So I don't think there's a whole lot of money to be made here, but I liked the little mouse on there. Um, I think this will probably sell. Ew, I think that looks like a slightly newer tag to me. Um, but I think this should sell for like $15. I could stick these in the kids consignment sale that I'm doing, but I'm doing everything from the bins and I don't feel like tracking exactly like how much I paid for like Goodwill pieces. Oh, this is a game I got for my family. It's We like to do trivia at dinner sometimes in it. Maybe I should actually look it up to see how much it sells for because uh, it was 99 cents and it's new sealed brain quest for the car, but it's probably not worth very much and I just got it for my family and I to play at dinner. Oh, here's my receipt. I saved $29.50. That's because I had $15 coupon, which I am going to put towards these things that I paid $5 for. But, okay. Yeah, I paid $241. 
Next, you saw me find this. It is Icelandic design. I have one listed and I sent one to a seller on Flip who did sell it. This seems like a slightly older style to me, but I just decided to try it out and it was half off, so I paid $3.50. Next, we got this Peloton t-shirt and uh, I've never sold Peloton gear, I don't think but I, people have said it can sell well, so I'm hoping for about $20 on this plain t-shirt. I paid $5, we'll see how it does. Then I got this Marmot like rain windbreaker, like it's great for the season. I don't usually pick up Marmot, but this was half off. I paid $4 and I'm first gonna offer it to my mom because it seems like something she might like for this time of year. And if not, I'd hope to make like a, honestly, I did not check comps on this at all. So I have no idea, I just kind of threw it in my cart but I would hope to make at least a $15 profit. I could be way off though, who knows, maybe I shouldn't have bought it. Okay, then I found these Free People Movement leggings. You probably know what this tag looks like. Sorry, it's hard to show. And I was honestly a little surprised because I don't usually go through the active wear and find like good stuff. Uh, these are the only thing I got out of the active wear. At least I found something. So they have this side slit detail and they're like crop leggings. I paid $6 for these and I think they'll sell for like $25. I feel like it is pretty safe. Okay, that is everything in this bag. All right, now we have the next bag of stuff. Starting off with the Kate Spade purse you saw me put in my cart. Uh, I did pay $20 for this and honestly, I, I should have looked up the style. This feels more like a factory bag. Oh, there's an earring in here. That's funny, it's not, it's like a stud. Uh, anyway, there is, I'll have to look at the style number and, but it just, it feels like a factory bag so maybe I shouldn't have paid $20 for it. I'll clean it up a little bit, but I have no idea, maybe $50. Like I'm not gonna make a huge profit on this, but I grabbed it. I don't usually find Kate Spade. Here are the Vionic boots you saw me grab. I was disappointed I couldn't get the other two boots that were priced for $10. Like I would have paid eight, but 10 was just pushing it. Um, but I was happy to find these Vionic boots for $7. And I would think these would sell for over 35 pretty easily. I think this is gonna be like the bag of shoes. I got so many shoes and shoes is like the last thing I need, but I like selling shoes. Okay, these are, I always say eco, but I think it's echo. These are men's tennis shoes. And I went back and forth on these because they do need to be cleaned up a little bit, but I did grab them for $7. I had never sold men's Echo before. So uh, I would think over 30 on these though. Next we got a pair of Born boots. And Born is not like my favorite brand to sell, but they're, I usually I'll grab them at the bins, but their boots do actually pretty well. I think I've sold a pair for over 40 before, so I'd expect these to sell for over 35. They do seem like a smaller size. They're size six, so they're my size. Um, which is funny, because I think I've only sold Born boots in smaller sizes. Anyway, uh, I paid $7. I expect over, or expect around 35. I grabbed these Sam Edelman, Sam Edelman, these are Steve Madden, Steve Madden Fancy, Fancy, I don't know, the style's on Steve Madden if you did not know, heels, I did pay $7 for these, which is like the tippy top of what I like to pay for Steve Madden, but this is like a very classic Steve Madden style, good for weddings and proms and all those things that are going to be coming up, so I did grab these and I expect like between 25 and 30 and honestly okay i don't have a reason to keep these but if they were my size maybe i would there was another pair for seven dollars that i probably would have picked up for like five dollars they were i don't know if you saw them in the video they were like the stetsy i think that's how you say it which is like a very classic steve madden style it's like these except this band like goes from thick to thinner the other one's just straight across those i've sold a few times and they can sell easily between 25 and 30 dollars I just did, I left those behind because they were like a patent nude, which I just, I don't know. I wasn't feeling it this day for seven. Then one of my favorite brands, I found these Mark Fisher boots. I usually grab these at last chance, but I got lucky to find one for $7 at Goodwill. And that is what Mark Fisher looks like. I would expect these to sell for around $35. Although we're kind of going out of boot season. They're in great shape too. Also, uh, if you did not know, this is the higher end, the LTD, if you can see that on there, is the higher end Mark Fisher. Some of, there are like lower end Mark Fishers out there. Okay, 
you probably heard me say this in the voiceover as well, but these Louise Ace at C, Louise Ace C, I don't know. Um, uh, I don't have super good luck with this brand. The few times I've sold it, I have picked it up at last chance before. I actually passed on it last week. Uh, maybe I should have grabbed it. I don't know. They do retail for over $100, but I grabbed them for $7 to try them out. Now I'm kind of regretting not grabbing the ones I passed on last week. Whatever. We'll see how this does for me this time. They do have this like castle hardware. Again, we're going out of boot season. What? The next few pairs of shoes I'm going to show you are like all boots. Okay. These are Tom's boots. I think you saw these in the clip too. Um, I considered, like I went back and forth on these just because Tom's isn't like my favorite brand to sell. I did grab these for $7. Uh, I think I should be able to get at least 30 for them. So they're in great condition. Usually when I find Tom's, they're pretty beat up. He was a nice find. I don't think you saw me grab these. They are Paul Green, like boot. They are Paul Green boots. They're brown suede with like metallic. They were $10. So I don't know if Goodwill like knows Paul Green now because they never have like marked it up in the past or if they just were like a pair of nice boots and priced them higher. But I did pay $10 for them. Paul Green is a very expensive German brand, I believe. I do pick it up from a last chance occasionally, but I have gotten lucky. Oh my gosh, I cannot hold these. I do pick it up from last chance occasionally, but I usually get pretty lucky and find them every few months in my Goodwill. Um, these should sell for over $35, hopefully closer to 40 or 50. Like they retail for a lot. These probably retailed for close to 300, but they're not going to resell for as much as you might think they would. Then when I was going through my cart, I was actually going through my cart in the kids section and spotted these kids all birds. They were $5. Uh, but I grabbed them. I figured they could probably like easily sell for $25. I didn't check comps, but they're in good they're in great shape and I just grabbed them. Like I'm not gonna leave a pair of Allbirds behind even if they're kids. I think this might be the last pair of shoes. This is like the first thing you saw. My sister found me Sam Edelman shoes. Oh, she undid them. She has to try them on. Um, so she wasn't sure. She said she, they're size 11. She said she usually wears like a 12 in Sam Edelman. So I told her, I was like, you can try them on at home. I'll buy them cause I'll resell them if you, if they don't fit you. Um, they they were seven dollars which i'm a little surprised goodwill didn't price them higher but if they don't if i sell them uh if they she doesn't keep them and end up selling them i'd expect to get like 30 to 35 dollars for these same element doesn't sell for me as well as it used to but this is a super cute style okay a few more items left back to clothing uh you saw me find this cut loose dress cut loose is like a lag and look brand I haven't sold it very much. Um, I haven't sold a lot of it, but I have sold it. So I grabbed this dress for $7. I don't know if I've ever sold a dress by them. I would expect to, this to sell for a little bit over $30. Then I went back and forth on grabbing this Free People piece. It is a size extra small and it was dry cleaned. Um, but it was eight dollars and it's like i can tell it's a little bit older of a sweater sorry it's so hard to show stuff in the car but everyone's in my house right now being loud um i decided to offer it to my mom and if she doesn't want it i'll just sell it and probably sell for about 25 dollars. so not a big profit on that but it seemed like something my mom would want okay then you saw me i didn't check comps on this but the retail on this dress oh my gosh it's i have no idea how to say this i'm not even gonna try to say this hopefully you can just see the tag <laughs> okay i think that's as good as it's gonna get this these dresses retail for like two three hundred dollars and it was half off for four dollars so i'm gonna leave it behind if worse comes to worse and i can't sell it i'll send it to thread up and make some money on it it's like a grommet dress i don't know not the cutest style but i can't leave a $300 dress behind for $4. And you know what? It's an experiment. I get to try out a new brand. Not a super exciting item to end off on. It is, again, made well, texture and thread. Um, it's just a little tank top with like a smacked front and a peplum. And I did pay $5 for this. Um, so a, not a huge profit to be made on this. I would assume it would sell between like 18 
and $23. I feel like $25 is on the high end, especially if this is an oversaturated style. But I thought it was cute and we're going into summer, spring, so I grabbed it. And I'll take a lower offer if it means I can move it fast and make a quick profit. All right, and then the last item. Don't judge me, my car looks awful. I have to do a thread up unboxing and those are binge shoes I need to photograph. But we found the Calico Critter house for $5. This is a deal of these things. If you don't know about Calico Critters, this is what they look like. Yeah, and it came with some of the people and oh, this one says 1985 is that actually how old these ones are or is that just like what their trademark is sorry if you can't really hear me i live by highway okay well i'm gonna have to do some research on this but i used to play with calico critters when i was younger and like i never had a house because these things like sell for like well over a hundred dollars probably closer to like two hundred dollars and so there are some furniture pieces inside here and some people and uh i don't know how i would ship it i would sell it on mercari but if for whatever reason i don't want to deal with shipping then i will just um put it in the kids consignment sale i have coming up and make a quick profit so that was an exciting find all right guys that was my thrift with me thank you for coming with me let me know if there's anything you would have picked up that i passed on thank you guys so much for watching this video if you liked it please give it a thumbs up it really helps out my channel and i will see you guys soon in another video bye